Hi guys, thanks for watching Photoshop Fun. Today we're just gonna do a quick tutorial based on how to get text in the background behind an image, just like you see in the magazines, on the covers of the magazines. First thing we're gonna do is open up the picture in Photoshop. Then we're gonna go straight to the text, start texting in here, typing away. Now I'm gonna put down Jennifer because it's Jennifer Lawrence, why not, of course. Now I'm just going to use the selection tool, just the X tool there, and you drag it to make it bigger, the transformation. Now I'm just going to make it a little bit more higher, uh, not too wide and everything else. I'm just going to arrange it to size just by holding down the shift key when I'm in the transferring mode. So Jennifer, there we go, that looks pretty good, right? Hit the X tool again, okay, and it's set. Now there's different ways of doing this. Basically what we're gonna do, we're going to erase the words around where her head face is. So it looks like it's behind her, but it's not. Now I'm trying all different types of different ways of doing it here, but none of these are really any good. Um, we're just gonna go real basic here. Um, now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna zoom in first and we're going to put the opacity, which is in the layers at the top there, where the layer is, right? We're just going to change that, put it down so it's transparent, so we can see what we're doing. And get the eraser tool. Now we're just going to erase around where her hair is on the letters. So it's just the letters that we're erasing. That's what we're doing here. So you, so you can see the background, which is her face or her hair at this stage. So this is the basic way of doing it. It's a very basic way. Um, a lot of people high end and everything else, you, know, you probably still do it this way, but there are other, other techniques where you can mask things and masking tools and all this type of stuff, you know. But this can be done on any version of Photoshop. So my suggestion is if you're new to Photoshop, and you're trying to do something like this, get this image, this effect, uh, this is the way to do it. Now I've just rotated the image by holding down the R key and you just hold down the R key, then use the cursor and slide to the left or slide to the right and then it actually turns around. And that's an easier way so you can get in there and do some more raising. Now just holding the space bar while I'm moving the actual image with the cursor. Hold the space bar down, then use the cursor to move it. Because we're gonna run out of space here on this picture. So once again, here we are with the eraser tool, just going around cleaning up the edges. And just those five little bits and pieces at the bottom there. And holding on the R key and moving the cursor to, to the right gets it back into the position that we wanted it to So now we're more or less, there we have the finished product. There we go, guys. And that's how you do a background text. <laughs>